Hi dears, happy day. This is Bharat here from Sri Rajamatangi Academy. As I have already told you in the previous audio note and the YouTube shots or the Insta Reels that I am going to tell you on what is going to be the do's and don'ts. I have made it very simple to say one video I will try to give it for what are the do's, what and all you should try to do in any law exam. Not necessary, it should only be a CA exam, it can also be a CS exam or a CMA exam. But as of now, we need to know how it has to be done for any law examinations. So it should be helpful, any professional course that is going to be that. So how to do it? To revise law one day before the exams, that is going to be one. What and all you will have to try to do, that's going to be the point. I have, I have brought some 15 points to ensure that if you cover this, your exemption should be easy and you know exactly what you are doing. Let's go one after another. I will also make it a bit bigger so that it becomes easier for us to cover. Number one, swapping the subjects. So now, when I say subjects, I am talking about the chapters that is inside the company law. For example, when you start, you cannot, when you are in the fresh hour, you cannot try to go directly read your definitions and waste your time. Because you know the monkey mind is going to be important because monkey mind, what is monkey mind? It keeps on be changing. Your monkey mind will ensure that it cannot be doing the same thing again and again. It gets bored. And that too before the examination, when you are under peer pressure, you need to swap the subjects depending on what is crucial, what is not crucial. That difference you should make. That means which chapter is bigger, which chapter is important, which chapter is not important, which chapter is not bigger. That's going to be that. Second most important is study the provisions in golden hour. Some people wake up early in the morning and study. Some people try to make a late night study. Irrespective of however you are, you need to ensure that golden hour is called fresh hour. That means when you are fresh, you need to study important and big topics which are called A category. A, B, C category is going to be crucial and you need to know what and all is tough or what and all is important. You will try to find out and, and do it in the golden hour. Next, mark A, B, C category and concentrate. That is what I was talking about. What is A? What is B? What is C? A is high important, more marks. B is important, okay marks. C is not important, only for connecting the concepts. Let's take for an example, company law. Irrespective of any professional course, the company law chapters is going to be same. It is usually Roman letters, but I have given the numbers here for your understanding. A chapters are always 2, 4, 7, 9, and 10. What is 2? Incorporation of company and incidental matters there too. What is 4? Share capital and debentures. What is 7? Management and administration. What is 9? Accounts of companies. What is 10? Audit and auditors. This is very normally A category because these are the base for your company law provisions. So these chapters, you will have to study it in the golden hour. That is what I wanted to talk about. So I am saying this 247910, you will have to do it when you are absolutely fresh so that it will always go and sit in your head. This is going to be another important key point. Now, let's go to the another remaining points. Differentiate easy and tough provision. Now, this is not ABC category, easy and tough provision. Whatever is easy for me will be tough for you. Whatever is easy for you will be tough for me. So you should only decide what is easy and tough for you. And based on that provisions, use your golden hour. For example, MOA classes on the overall set A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. This is your MOA and AOA classes. But inside that, you will need to understand whether it is with share capital or without share capital. Exactly the same will be for articles of association. So this, when you look, it is easy, but you go inside the provisions and study, it is tough. Disqualification. You know that there are 10 disqualification, uh, disqualification of auditors under section 141. 10 is easy, but inside that point, you will have to go and find what are the limits, what is going to be there as a 1 lakh limit, what is going to be there for a 5 lakh limit, what is prohibited, what is allowed, how it is connected with 144, or how it is connected with 147, all this indirectly will make your provisions tougher. Private placement, on the PP is private placement. On the outset, it becomes easy. 
but when they are going to calculate the number of members that is going to be there in act they will say 50 in rules they will say 200 that will be tough provision so you should know inside one particular provision itself what is easy what is tough are we clear so next energy hover provisions before food that means what whenever you wanted to read the provision for the first time which you have never done it before please do it before the food before food means you will always have that craving for hunger so it will go and sit in your head you have nothing to do with your body on digesting anything about it because you are absolutely clean but once you finish your food the body will concentrate only on digesting the food it will not try to do anything more so at that time if you read a tough provision or an a more uh, uh, related provisions are going to be for the first time you are reading a provision it will consume time you don't have time for it then you will have a very less time before the exam you should try to do so time consuming aspects first time you are reading this please do it before the food so what is going to be before food what is going to be after food so before food is going to be for time consuming and first time study next tick that is going to be after food what is tick i always tell this t i c k is think ink confirm and knowledge first you think what is the provision don't open the book and start studying right from the word go first think for example if you are going to study chapter number 2 what is going to be there in chapter number 2 so i will have moa i will have aoa i will have ultra wise three doctrines will be there ultra wires indoor management constructive notice in name class five different heads are there in situation class there is a chart which is going to be uh, within the city from one city to another one roc to another one state to another how we are going to cover that so what is stark one role what is your um, the provisions relating to the case laws of doctrine of ultra wires what are the exceptions of indoor management is the applicability of constructive notice what is section 7 7 into 7 into 7 is what when the tribunal will come into picture now this is what we call it as visualization uh, we we have we would not have touched the book but the whole thing should start running in your mind need not be section number wise i am not telling you the section number saying 3 4 5 6 now you will have to connect 5 with section 13 connect the six, section 6 with 14 so 20 21 and 22 is service of documents authentication and your execution i am not talking on the section numbers because not all people will be okay with the sections so we can do the section numbers i can do it but for you to understand easily, I am telling you, after food, think first, think the provision, write the important provisions and see, confirm whether what you wrote and what you study is same and then keep it as a knowledge. So think, ink, confirm and knowledge. You will have to do example, the name class. I told you that there are five heads in the name class that is there. It can be application, it can be cancellation, it can be re-registration, it can be uh, relating to any other provisions or you should not have a problem in the trademark on the name change so there are five hits that is going to be there so you if you write at least one time after the food your digestion also shouldn't be a problem or you don't need to remember everything because you are writing something next deadlines numbers to be thorough what is this numbers to be thorough in simple example this particular provision has to be a twin, uh, notice when we say example 21 days 21 clear days so 21 plus what days and all it will be included what and all it will be excluded that is going to be there whatever you are going to pass a resolution or an agreement it has to be filed with roc within 30 days of doing that so all these numbers the deadlines charges before 2 11 2018 on or after 2 11 2018 that is the difference small company paid up capital or turnover is not the point paid up capital and turnover is the point so these are the key provisions that you need to know with the numbers now i told you some examples you can easily connect and you can prepare that list and study you can prepare an order or you when you have time more time you can take it from a barrack and study you know what is barrack what is exactly enacted by the parliament that will be a book and that book only we should study as a law student section numbers for important provisions not for all you will have to study section numbers only for important now i talk some uh, very easy provisions and very important provisions some definition like for example share 
section 2 subsection 84 that is very crucial correct section 2 subsection 69 is promoter section 2 subsection 40 is financial statements 129 will talk about provisions of financial statement 128 will talk about books of accounts all these are very regular buyback section 68 to 70 will talk about buyback of securities like this important provisions and sections you need to do a tick so i already told you what is a tick next what is how you will concentrate on a case based question i have already prepared a youtube shots and reels please go and get connected with that i have told how it has to be done if you know chapter number great if you know section number great if you know from which companies act whether from which uh, uh, subsections that is going to be there it is great first whether it is a positive question or a negative question you need to do then apply all the provisions then you give an inference or conclusion that's what i have told here chapter number section number and whether it is companies act or not positive or negative type of a question application apply all the provisions and then give your conclusion don't write the conclusion first so only i have given conclusion at the last so the order is going to be very very clear so first is going to be chapter chapter number if you write great if you don't know the section number if you know the section number great if you can tell what provisions of the act great first to find whether it is positive or negative then apply all the provisions and then you can write your inference or conclusion next is connections list i was just talking about the connections on various examples another example here i told is liability clause what is this liability clause we told there are various types of companies company limited by shares limited by guarantee unlimited company will be there on your last head of your moa classes and aoa classes but all this will be starting in chapter number two but the liability clause when you are altering share capital it will not be there in chapter number two it will be there in chapter number four what is chapter number two incorporation of company and incidental matters there too what is chapter number four share capital and debentures so that connection should be important books simple example i will not connect only companies act books books and papers includes books of accounts books and papers is also there in companies act it's also there in general classes act so that's the connection that we need to do when you are reading from one act to another i am not only connecting inside this another example i have already already put a youtube shots on immovable property it should have actually been defined in transfer of property act 1882 but it is actually defined in general clauses act under section 3 subsection 26 now that's the connection from where i am connecting where that basic things if you already written and kept please study that or if you watch my videos that is going to be enough i would have already connected so many sections so this connections is going to be again important definitions list definitely they will ask you any one definition last time last listed company that means the previous examination irrespective of whether you are a ca or a cma or a cs they might have asked you small company or listed company so like that there are definitions which keeps on be amending on paid up capital and turnover limits and all it has to be studied so types of companies i would have already prepared a mnemonic on this you can cover confusing questions list what and all is going to be confusing i told you small company it is not our condition it is under condition situation class i told you whether it is within the city or outside the city or one roc or one state from one state to another so all these are confusing next charts and diagrams definitely your institute metal will have charts and diagrams and i have also prepared more on charts and diagrams giving a snip example here i have told us appointment of auditors for a government company appointment of auditors for a non government company it can be for a first auditor it can be a subsequent auditor irrespective of that you can prepare charts and finish this is how you will study a law subject you cannot just like that mug up and go there is a way and i am telling you the way next is mnemonics that's for your shortcuts i already told you camel companies based on cap based on control you can de determine your company based on access to capital based on membership based on external based on liability anyways i will give you a separate youtube shots or that but i have already told this before also case csr is going to be for your section 8 company case csr for what you will use the section 8 company charity then arts science education charity and uh, whatever the charitable institutions 
and your contributions next is yes the science or society and the religion so like that you can easily frame the mnemonics and that's all the section 8 company applicability is over only for these companies you can do next lmr sections and cases that's your last what is lmr last minute revision i have already prepared a video on youtube hardly one day or two days before you can go and connect that on the important provision sections and important points. So if you also have prepared your notes, which is called 11th cover revision, that means the last cover that you are going to study, you can quickly glance and keep that as a note for you to continue and finish your examination. This is what going to make your law very simple. As a company secretary, how generally we uh, 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 wanted to cover the provisions and that's what I have already done on this particular video and not taking too much of your time. So I have done do's alone one video. Don'ts will be in another video that will be uploaded. So just take your time out of too much of uh, concentration on the concepts. Just concentrate on this and see if you have actually covered. I wanted to do this as a last minute revision and do's for any law examination that's done. I hope it should have been useful. I have given my number. I have given my mobile number. You can WhatsApp me if there is going to be anything crucial for you. <clears throat> yes, we will definitely. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you.